I never thought I would be involved in the birth of a Joey, but I was on January the 30th when Katie produced Tingle inside our house. First to appear was the sac containing the Joey's excretory waste, the embryonic allantois. The smell from Katie's pouch was overwhelming, and I realised she was licking not only a path to keep her baby moist as it climbed, but also a scent trail. Because a newborn Joey is so small, many wonder if kangaroos suffer labour pains. Being with Katie, I know they do. It was emotional watching Tingle emerge into the world. Some say there is no loving bond until the Joey is furred, but I disputed this the moment I saw Katie greet her baby. This was a perilous moment, but instinctively the Joey grabbed some fur and the long, arduous climb began. It was nowhere near the trail its mother had licked, however it headed not up, but across until it found it. It is often said that kangaroos do nothing to assist their newborns. I doubt they have the dexterity to pick up a joey if it falls. But Katie helped Tingle all the way, licking, encouraging and guiding throughout the four minutes it took to reach the pouch. Katie finally lifted her head, and Tingle was gone. When I looked inside the pouch, it was such a relief to see her Joey at ten minutes old, safely attached to a teat. <laughs> <laughs> 